Hi, thanks for checking out our channel and our videos. Uh, what this video is going to be about is um, we're going to kind of explain what jewels are to a fence charger. We get this call all the time. Uh, what's what's jewels? What what is that? You know, or some people pronounce it jowl because it's J O U L. Some people E. Some people sometimes say jowl, but it's pronounced jewel. Um, some brands will rate their units in output jewels like this brand, this is Blitzer's, an uh, older model, 8900-B, that we repair and put a new transformer in it. Uh, some brands will rate them in output jewels like this one. Some brands will rate them in stored jewels. Uh, Gallagher rates their units in stored jewels. Um, Speed right state fix, uh, based their model numbers off of uh, output jewels. But everybody, every brand has got output and stored jewels. It doesn't matter. It just depends on how they want to market it and how they want to present it to people. But it confuses people sometimes because a stored jewel number is higher internally than what its output jewels is. And what a jewel is, if you want to know about it, there's a scientific thing for it, but we're not talking about that crap. We're not doing the math and the equations, all that junk. We're talking about what a jewel means to a fence charger when it comes to electric fence. What a jewel is, is how strong the unit is, how, how much punch behind that shock is on the fence. The higher the jewel a unit's got, the uh, bigger the fence it can cover, the easier it is to fight through shorts on the fence that sort of stuff so a uh, voltage on a unit like th this one puts out about 8,000 volts 8 kv um voltage is not uh does, is not hand in hand with with joules they're two totally different things the joules is just or the voltage is just what pushes the shock around the fence what the animal actually feels when they get shocked is the joules or the amperage it's, you know the joules a shock power behind the thing so a so I'll give you two examples before I talk about stored and output jewels and what they are. So say you've got a, a two units. Uh, one is a output voltage. Is, both of them are voltage-wise. They're putting out 7,000 volts. But one is one joule and one is 10 joules. The voltage may be the same, but the joules, say on a 10-joule unit, is going to hit you a hell of a lot harder than a, a one joule at 7,000 volts. Um, it's going to cover a lot bigger area. You know, the voltage is the same. It's the joules of what you're going to feel when you get hit by it. Now, I had another lady talk to me the other day. She's got a um, summon unit, puts at 9,000 volts on her fence, but it's only two joules. And she said the animals are just walking through it. She tests the fence. She's getting 9,000 volts on the fence, so her ground's good because you're getting a good reading there. But she's got goats, and I think it's a two joule unit. The goats are just walking right through it. I said, you need a bigger jewel unit. She said, well, it's putting out 9,000 volts. I said, yeah, that's that's true. But you've only got two joules there of energy based on what model you told me that you got. And the goats need more joules. So I rec gave her a recommendation what to look at and buy either online or local store. And I said, if you got a, uh, a six to eight joule unit, you know, it's going to be putting out probably about 7,000 volts, 8,000 volts, depending on what model she got. I think the model she was looking at was, a, I think the book had it at 6.8 kV, so almost 7,000 volts, but it was 6 to 8 joule unit. And she's like, well, that's a lot lower voltage than what I'm used to. I say, yeah, it's about 2,500 volts less, but you're about uh, 4 to 6, 4 to 5, or uh, 4 to 6 joules higher than what you had with a 2 joule unit. You're looking at 6 to 8 joules versus 2 joules. And then I explained to her jewels was. So that's what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about these jewels. So I'll, I, I explained to her what the voltage meant and what it does and what the jewels are. So she kind of understood eventually. But now we're going to talk about output jewels and store jewels. Store jewels on, on different brands, uh, when they rate their models on store jewels, that's, just, that's the jewels at the capacitor before it gets to the terminals here. Um, it's a more accurate reading because what the actual unit inside is actually building up to. But the output joules is what actually makes it to the terminals when it spits it out. And um, think of it as like um, an engine in an old truck or, or a car, whatever. Uh, say the engine's rated at 300 horsepower. That, that's at the engine, at the crank, basically the engine. So that's your stored joules, what it's actually building up inside. 
Your output joules is your horsepower at the wheels, what it actually delivers to the wheels. So say a unit's 300, or say a car's got 300 horsepower at the engine, but the, in, but the horsepower at the rear wheels is, uh, you know, 250 or something like that. So you've got 50 horsepower loss between your engine and the wheels because it's got to go through a transmission, it's got to go through a dry shaft and differential, all that stuff. So this unit, uh, or a unit in general, it may have uh, five uh, or uh, ten stored joules at the capacitor, but by the time it discharges through that capacitor, through the transformer, and to the output terminals, you might only have six joules. So you have, there's always a loss. And like if you look at um, some of the bigger speed right units and, and then cyclop units they'll put on their uh output jewel or store jewels is 10 output jewels is seven or whatever you know so there's always a, a loss so gallagher rates are units to store jewels say an m1000 is a 10 store jewel unit but i might output five to six there's because there's always loss between the unit itself inside and the terminals on the output because it has to go through some stuff to get to these terminals so that's the difference between output joules and stored joules. Stored joules is the engine horsepower. Output joules is the horsepower at your at your wheels, what actually makes it to the ground. So I've got a tester here that we bought. It's a Field Guardian fault finder, but it does it will read output joules as well. It'll tell you what the output joules of a unit is. But we've got to uh, load this unit down because. Uh, on a normal clean fence uh, or a unit running wide open with no load on it, there's hardly any juice there, hardly any jewels there at all until you stress the unit out and put some put some resistance to it. So I'm going to show you that. So we're going to power it on. Let's see, ground fence. So I'm going to take this tester and we're going to put show you the voltage. Oh, turn it on first. So we're getting 8,000 volts. Get it where you can see it better. Eight thousand volts. We'll switch to joules. This is 28, but that's actually point 20. So point yep, yeah, 0.28 joules. So like, oh, it's only six joules. It's supposed to be putting out six joules. Where's my six joules at? Well, you have to have a load on it to get your joules. So they recommend, uh, on this brand, they recommend, this tester here, they recommend a 200 ohm resistor, which I don't have. I got 150 ohm. It's close enough. And we're going to read what joules this thing is putting out. Because the more, the, the harder you stress it down by, more it's got to work hard. That's where your jewel starts really kicking in. So I've got a 150 ohm resistor across this thing. Now what this is going to do, it's going to make my voltage drop and make my amperage climb, which in turn makes my jewels climb. So I'm going to turn it back on. So we're reading 4.4 kV. Switch over to uh, jewels. We're reading seven output jewels. 7.06 joules. So we're reading seven output joules is what this unit's putting out. Um, it says rated for six, but we're, we're getting seven. And that's because we got a better transformer inside this thing than what they use. So this is a seven output joule unit right now. I mean, I could drop it down and maybe put a heavier load on it, maybe put a 50 ohm load, and maybe it'll creep up to eight joules, you know, output. But right now at 150 ohm load on there, we're reading um, seven output joules of energy. So, so that's um, so we're able to read the jewels with this um, with this type of tester that we've got. Um, we had to buy it special and to be able to read jewels on it. But it does, um, uh, yeah. It shows me what the output jewels is. So that's what um, that's what jewels means to an inner electric fence charger. You know, output joules, stored joules. I mean, it's it's still joules. It's just different brands. You know, they take the joule reading from a different spot.
This one we took on the output, so it's output joules, stored joules, what's stored up in the capacitor inside before it gets to the output terminals. Every brand's got stored joules. Every brand's got output joules. Some brands just rate them inside here versus here, or some brands will show you both what's built up inside and what's on the output, so it doesn't really matter. You're still going to get, you know, joules. This, if a brand is, say, rated, they're using you know, stored joules. If it's a 10 stored joule or whatever, uh, it may be output 5 to 7 because there's usually about between 50, I, mean, I would say between 40 and 60% loss between here and here. It's inside and what's on the outside. Um, it depends on the, the kind of jewels you get on the output depends on the uh, efficiency of the transformer. Some brands have a 50% loss in power between here and there. This unit, um, because of the type of crappy transformer that they use, a lot of heat loss in the transformer and the windings and all the metal and all the wire that's in the transformers are lost there. And like this unit, I believe if you go to um, uh, American Farm Works, at the ones they sell at Tractor Supply, they'll show you on some of their stickers, they'll have stored joules, output joules. Stored joules is like 10, output joules like 6.7. So this probably is 10 stored joule with six output. But we're reading seven because we got a better transformer in there, better than what they were using. So... Hopefully that may, that clear clear some things up, allows you to understand what joules means to electric fence box. Um, we have this tester here that we that we bought to read joules. Um, I wouldn't buy one just for that. That's just a hobby thing for you to have if you really care. But we bought it because I'm always curious. Since I work on these things for a living, I want to know what we're dealing with here. Um, plus, we've got the re big resistor that we need to go across these terminals to be able to load it down and actually read joules on a, on a unit. So, but hopefully it helps you out, answer some questions. Give us a call, uh, write some comments down below, whatever. We're happy to try to help you out. We work on all brands, electric fence boxes. We've got um, uh, 400 and some odd videos on YouTube. 445, I think is what it's at now, 450 or something like that. But there's our website, fencerfixer.com. Work on all brands and ages, year and a half warranties. We also work on cattle scale repairs. We, we work on mostly Gallagher's. The truth just won't let you work on their stuff. So you, we can work on the Gallagher's and Waytronics and some other brands, but and that sort of thing. But tell your friends about us. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that like button. Ask us questions. Happy to help you out. Till next time, see you later.